Hi, my name is Gavia and I've built a seismograph using the Raspberry Shake. It's a really easy and accessible way to create a seismograph in your own home. Most seismographs cost thousands of dollars, but this one just costs um, about 300 to 400 dollars. Here is the hardware. So now let's talk about the hardware of the board. When I got this kit, I got this acrylic case, some screws and nuts, and then the geophone sensor and the Raspi Shake board. Um, assembling this took about 30 minutes. It was very easy and very short and quick to assemble. It also doesn't cost very much, and so it's a great option. Um, what it has is the Raspberry Shake board, which is this green. And then the blue board is connected to the geophone, which is our sensor. Um, the sensor is the one that actually detects the movements. It consists of a coil, a spring, and a magnet. And when the magnet moves, it, um, creates energy, a current, and that is detected in the blue board, which is the Raspi Shake board. Um, like I said, it's super duper easy to assemble. It's even got screws so you, and legs so you can level it really easily. Um, and it's super duper sensitive and it's a great option. Okay, so from the geophone sensor, you might be wondering where does the data go to? How can we see the data? And so this whole thing connects to Wi-Fi and then it uploads it right here on raspberryshakenet.org. And right here, um, this is my Raspberry Shake showing up on this map. And you can see the data. Um, since we have been moving about, you can see there are some peaks and it's a little bit high but otherwise this is just a normal thing now i'm going to show you at something we call aras.local it shows us just our raspberry shake this is today when there was no disturbance and it all looks pretty normal this is pretty cool you can see every now and then we'll get a little bit of a disturbance um and it has it for all the days that this has been up and it's extremely cool to look at. I'll show you today when we were making a disturbance, you can see all this, which is crazy because the peaks are so, so high. Um, you can see how sensitive this thing is just by tapping the table or standing up. It makes huge, huge peaks. So that's really cool. This updates about every 15 minutes and it's, like I said, super duper easy and simple. One really cool experiment I wanted to try just to see how sensitive this thing is was um, just tapping on my computer. So as you can see, this is updating in real time. And all I'm going to do is, I'm going to refresh it real quick, just so that we can get all the latest data. And then I am just going to tap on the key of my computer and see if it shows up, okay? Here it is, right here, you can see, I all I did was tap on the key of my computer and all this disturbance is from just that little tap. So as you can see, this is super duper duper sensitive. Now, another thing, one last experiment I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this all the way down in the basement of our house and I am going to make some disturbance at the top level and see if it can detect. Okay, so now I put the seismograph downstairs in the basement, which is two floors beneath where I am and I am going to make a disturbance with my foot. 
Actually, I'm just going to bang on the table and we're going to see if it can catch it. Um, you can see all this. This is from previous disturbance. This is how it should normally look. Let's see how this goes. Okay. One, two, three. Let's see if it picked that up. Oh, look, look, look. We're seeing that peak right there. Now let's try two in a row and see if we see two peaks. Wait for it. Remember, guys, this is updating in real time. So, oh, see? We see both these two peaks right here. If I stomp my foot, We should get to see. We got two disturbances for the two stops. So this is updating in real time and it's extremely sensitive. I am two floors above and stomping my feet causes such a high peak. So this is super duper cool. One of the best things about Raspberry Shake is that we can see data from people all over the world. Right here, this map shows us Raspberry shakes from people who have it planted all over the world. Um, right here, if I can click on any random one, let's say I click on this one right here in Mexico, I can see their data in real time. I can even click on this one in Africa, and here I can see their data in real time. So this is a great way to open source all of your data that you've been collecting. Um, right here, you can even see your own Raspberry Shake. So all you have to do is zoom into that area. And we live right around here in Ohio. And we can see our Raspberry Shake too, which is super duper cool. Right here in this area. Overall, Raspberry Shake is a great tool for anyone who's super interested and passionate about science to get into the field and collaborate with scientists from all over the world. I hope you guys choose to create your own and set it up and I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.